Thank you.
are to get on the right side of the world revolution, we as a nation must undergo a radical revolution of values. We must rapidly begin to shift from a thing-oriented society to a person-oriented society. When machines and computers, profit motives and property rights are considered more important than people, the giant triplets of racism, militarism, economic exploitation are incapable of being conquered. A true revolution of values will soon cause us to question the fairness and justice of many of our present policies. True compassion is more than flinging a coin to a beggar. A true revolution of values will soon look uneasily on the glaring contrast of poverty and wealth with righteous indignation. It will look across the seas and see individual capitalists of the West invest in huge sums of money and aid Africa and South America only to take the profits out with no concern for the social betterment of the countries. Say this is not just. It will look at our alliance with the landed gentry of Latin America and say this is not just. Western arrogance of feeling that it has everything to teach others. Nothing to learn from them is not just. A true revolution of values will lay hands on the world order and say of all, this way of settling differences is not just. This business of burning human beings with napalm, filling our nation's homes and with orphans and widows, of injecting poisonous drugs of hate into the veins of peoples normally humane. Sending men home from dark and bloody battlefields, physically handicapped and psychologically deranged, and not be reconciled with wisdom, justice, and love. A nation that continues year after year to spend more money on military defense than on programs for social uplift is approaching spiritual death. It is a sad fact that because of comfort complacency, a morbid fear of communism, our proneness to adjust to injustice, the Western nations that initiated so much of the revolutionary spirit of the modern world have now become the arch anti-revolutionaries. Our only hope today lies in our ability to recapture the revolutionary spirit, go out into a sometimes hostile world, declaring eternal hostility to poverty, racism, and militarism. A genuine revolution of values means in the final analysis that our loyalties must become ecumenical rather than sectional. Every nation must now develop an overriding loyalty to mankind as a whole in order to preserve the best in their individual societies. This calls for a worldwide fellowship that lifts the neighborly concern beyond one's tribe, race, class, and nation is in reality a call for all embracing unconditional love for all men. This of misunderstood and misinterpreted concept is so readily dismissed by the Nietzsche's of the world as a weak and cowardly force has now become an absolute necessity for the survival of mankind.